Welcome to this video on the Sample and Hold and Track and Hold module by After Later Audio, SHTH, or as I like to call it, SHTH. This is a 2HP Sample and Hold and Track and Hold module. The Sample and Hold section is based on the Sample and Hold section from Kinks by Mutable Instruments, and it has the exact same inputs and outputs if you're familiar with that. First, we have this top LED which is our sample and hold output value. Right now we can see it's at a negative voltage because it's red. The second LED is, you guessed it, our track and hold output, which is positive right now, and we can see it's changing, which I'll get into in just a second. Now we have our sample and hold section, which has our input here, which is the signal that you want to be sampled. Not to be confused with the sample input here, which is the trigger input that will sample our sample and hold. We then have our noise output, which is internally routed to our sample and hold input here when this is left unpatched. And it's just a good noise source to use in general. Then we have our sample and hold output, which is our held value from our input from when it last received a trigger, as we could see on that LED. And that's the whole sample and hold section. Now the track and hold section, which works similar, but a little bit different to the sample and hold. For the sample and hold, it is constantly holding a single value each time it triggers. The track and hold lets the signal out and it stops the signal wherever it's at whenever it receives a gate in the track input. So for this quick rundown, we have our input here, which is our signal input that we want to be tracked. And then we have our track input, which is for gates. Anytime the gate is high, wherever our track signal was at, it will be held, similar to the sample and hold. We then have the walk output, which is internally routed to the in input here. The walk output is four separate oscillator circuits that are kind of slewed together to give us this random positive voltage walk signal. And then we have the track and hold output, which when not receiving a track gate is the same as whatever that input signal is until we receive that track input and then it's held. Let's look at the noise output here, which we could see is just noise. And it is very, very noisy noise. As we could see when we zoom in super fast, it's still super noisy. We can't make out any discernible waves. And that is what is being sampled in the sample and hold. Now the walk signal we'll see here is just a positive signal that is waving up and down up to its peak, down to the bottom, and everywhere in between in a nice random fashion. And you can see our main output is the same as the walk is at the moment. And that is SHTH, or SHTH. But as you guessed it, let's go a little deeper to get a better look at SHTH. 
or SHTH. Let's patch it up. To start, I have a simple East Coast patch here, sequenced by this clock multiplier with no Volpar active right now. In the waveform is a double saw wave, which is mixed with a sine wave. So now we want to sequence some notes, which is where the sample and hold section comes in. First, I'm going to take our sample and hold output, which is the noise being sampled anytime the sample receives that trigger. And I'm going to plug that into a quantizer to set it to a key and then go into the volt per octave input of my oscillator. And I'm going to have it trigger every time the envelope for that sequence triggers. So we'll get a new note every time a step happens. But we can see here, it's not the widest range coming from that internal noise. So we want to put a different input in to the sample circuit. I'm going to pull the steps output from after later steps here, which is similar to the noise, but I can control the amplitude of it and the speed of it here, which I have really fast to resemble the noise, but we can control the amplitude. So now let's hear that sequence. We can see we're already getting wider note range. But say you think that bass sound sounds a little static still. We can add the noise from our noise output here to mix in with our double saw wave oscillator here. So now we have the noise mixed in, but that doesn't sound great either. We want to animate that too, which is where the track and hold is going to come in. First, I'm going to take the track and hold out. I'm going to put it into the oscilloscope so we can see it. And this is actually going to control the amplitude of our noise. So now this walk signal, which is the internal signal here, will control our noise level. And I'm going to actually turn this to a comparator here to give it a little bit more crunch. So we want to hold those values sometimes so it's not so constant in its inconsistencies. So I'm going to pull the quarter speed trigger out from PAMS and put that into the track input here. So now every time that walk signal gets held by that gate, it is going to hold that signal. But say we want a different signal other than that walk. I'm going to pull a unipolar triangle wave LFO and put that into our track and hold input here. This is getting really crowded. And to utilize all the outputs and inputs, the walk output is still open. So I'm going to actually patch out the walk output to control our LFO speed. So now we have the LFO getting modulated by the walk and then getting tracked anytime this beat starts on each first note. Which gives us a much more 